G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be driving down to the gym, which is about an hour away, because we're going to the one that I used to go to, and the one that Eddie goes to for a nice chest workout. And yes, we are going to be doing some Sam Sulek type shit with the camera and the car and the setup and whatever. So shout out to him for making this content possible. But first, we need a fill up because the car is not looking very good. Oh, fuck. Oh, I forgot how expensive this car is. By the way, I don't know if you all have fuel lock in whatever country you are. If you're in Australia, which you, a lot of my audience is, then 7-Eleven fuel lock is the GOAT. Trust me on that. My tank is nearly full. I didn't fill it all the way. $110 it costs to do that. But with fuel lock, I found some other 7-Eleven in the area that had it a lot cheaper. And I managed to get my fuel down to $88 which is still very expensive, but that's pretty typical at this point. Um, so it went down from 110 to $88. Cannot complain with that. So I've arrived and I've done my hair, so I'm no longer looking like a fluffy caterpillar, but it's just time to take some pre-workouts. So we've got some HDLT Hardcore Stim and some pre-workout 2.0. And honestly, I was thinking about taking both of them, but I also just can't be fucked and I'd much rather just take one. Just three scoops of this. Why three? Because I'm an addicted... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are two of the flavors which I haven't got sick of, which is probably my biggest problem whenever I have pre-workouts of any kind, is I really get sick of them really quickly. Uh, so obviously for that, go try for yourself and use code Blake at checkout for 10% off. Love you all. I was thinking about stopping it too, and then I realized I'm not a bitch. Three scoops! That's surely gotta get me cracked out of my fucking mind. I'll see you all when you get in the gym. So, Eddie should be on his way any second now. Um, but I don't actually have a, what's it called, tank top underneath this, because I got extremely burnt the other day. I'm like, cooked like a lobster and it's killing me. So I'm not too sure how my back's gonna go on this bench. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I've already done a 15 minute walk, so I'm a little bit warmed up, but my muscles aren't, so. We'll start with some 25s and probably work up to maybe 40s, I reckon. Not too sure. Mm, my back does hurt. Sunburn is burning. I've taken a whole two days off the gym. One, because it was a rest day. And then the next one, because I was burnt to a crisp and I was in so much pain that I really couldn't be fucked. But other than that, we're being pretty consistent. Let's see how far Eddie is. Oh, Eddie's here. Uh, I'm over at Dumbbells. I can never spell Dumbbells right. Such a weird word to spell. So a massive mistake that I made when I was first starting to lift was probably the fact that I never recorded anything that I was doing. So after being coached, I was told about this little app called Train Heroic. And this is pretty much everything that I use to track everything that I do every single workout. So it's really good because I used to just pick up whatever weight, see if it worked and then just hope that it worked. And now I'm actually able to track it and know what I did last time so I can progressively overload consistently. So today is going to be a heavy push day. And apparently last time I did 42.5 kilos for eight reps. We'll try and match that. I might try and get like 10 or something like that. Remember three scoops of pre-workout does make me a hero. So we'll try. Um, I need heavier weights. Still warming up. That feels good. We're still on the hunt for Eddie. Not too sure where he is. We're not even working out with him today. I just want to see the fella. <laughs> Just in staff room, about to pass out so hungry. If you didn't know, Eddie is actually a PT here. He works here. He's important to this place. Oh, what up, boss? Yo. Oh. Set up. I walked for a little bit longer than I thought. I was like waiting for you, and I, <laughs> I just like I was just playing my little fucking idol games, <laughs> and I got distracted. So, you actually got legs. You got legs. Yeah. Okay, let's get back to it. Oh, it's starting to get heavy. Oh, 
I think we're all warmed up. We're going straight for it. Got the 42.5s sitting in front of me. And we're gonna go for about 10, hopefully. I didn't eat much before this. I had some French toast, obviously, the ultimate goat of cutting. Um, but nothing really more. Not really many sugars. I'm really running on three scoops of the pre-workout at the moment. It's doing pretty well, but I do wish I had some food. Oh, that was loud. You know, I found that one of the best parts about my Apple Watch, not the best parts, but one of the things that I use the most is actually the timer. So I usually use it mostly uh, when I'm asleep as well, or like when I'm taking a quick nap, I usually use this and it wakes me up in time or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But I also use it for rest times. So I have like the, the common four um, times that I usually set, usually like one, two, three, four, five, whatever. And I just switch between them with however much rest I think that I need. Maximum rest that I'd usually go for is like five minutes on a brutal heavy leg day. But other than that, I would only stay four minutes maximum. Like even that is just like really pushing it. Especially when I don't train with a whole lot of intensity, you don't really need a lot of uh, resting time, which is the only reason why I have that much rest on a leg day, because it is very high intensity. But for this, I'm just doing two minutes of rest. It is uh, my actual set. I have warmed up. This will be my first set of the exercise, officially counting till failure and whatever. Yeah. I think I might try and bang them out a little bit quicker, because that's the only way that I think I'll get to 10. Or I might go eight and then try to 45s. I don't know, we'll see how this feels. Then we'll decide from there. Yeah, like I said, having the app is really good. I know exactly what I'm doing. By the way, I'm not sponsored or anything. I just, just use the app. It's, it, use something to track your workouts. It's the next thing to upgrade your workouts and whatever. And of course, train like a motherfucker. Train hard and don't be a bitch. It's quite simple. And there's the timer. Uh, time to die. <sighs> Well, a bit disappointing, not gonna lie. I only got about seven and a half, which is less than last time. That's not good enough. Uh, but at the same time, I haven't eaten and not a lot of sleep, so that's fair. We'll just track that, and the next time we should be able to beat it. I also wanted to mention, this gym gives me some nostalgia. I don't know why, but um, I have moved. I am not in the area that this gym is anymore. I have moved about an hour away, which is why I drove an hour to get here. Uh, but this used to be my local. I still had to drive about 20 minutes to get here. But um, yeah, not an hour, so it's not worth coming here anymore. I go to a different gym, a bit closer to me, and it's just not as nice. So yeah, one day I would like to move a little bit closer here. I do like this, oh wait, the set timer. Um, I do like to work out here a lot more than the other gym that I'm at. So yeah, I think it would be worth it, but finding a fucking house to live in as a 20 year old, even with friends, to rent sucks ass. So yeah, it might take a little while, but it would be quite worth it. So, time to rest up and we'll try and hit eight again. So my fucking watch timer just went off and I'm like not rested up yet. I'm just fucking tired, so I'm just gonna give it another like 30 seconds. Uh, uh, fuck are you doing? Yeah, no. I, I could see it moving. <laughs> no, I'm tired still. Okay, last one. See, that's how easy it is to get chicks.
doing leg. You did you just want to hit some chest? Yeah, that's fair. My favorite leg exercise. This. Did you, yeah, did you see this, this? This is actually really good for the rectus femoris. Didn't you see me swing my legs? Yeah. No, my it's leg, like it's like flutter kicks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All you, all you gotta do is just like. The camera brings out the weird side of me. Good leg, good leg exercise. You know what, 10 or 40 sounds good. By the way, when I started, I used to do the craziest like amount of sets and exercises for chest. It's like, you know, whenever you first start, you always think more is better. So I used to do like five different exercises for just chest, because it was my weak point. And that did fuck all. And for comparison, by the way, I only do two now. Two exercises, that's all you need. Two to three sets. And then it just makes sure you go to failure or very close to, but you know, I'm no genius, I'm only a 20 year old kid, so you don't have to listen to me. Also going back on the thing of um, why I miss this gym, and I like it a lot better, this place is fucking huge, as you can probably tell. The new gym that I'm going to is not that big, and I really don't like setting up a tripod there, and I don't really train with anyone. So, I would much rather come to this massive gym where I can set up a tripod pretty much in the middle of nowhere, where it is now. I don't care if anyone, he just knocked it though, that's a bit, that's, that's, that's a bit funny. I don't really care, but like, <laughs> What the fuck? It didn't even feel it. Yeah, I don't care if people walk in front of it or whatever. Obviously, some Joey Swole type shit. But at the same time, if a tripod's set up in an area where it's a very high walking space, I don't want everyone to try and like avoid it every single time they walk past it. Um, and usually that's what happens. So I just try not to be an inconvenience. But in a big gym like this, it's a lot easier to get away with. Um, for this exercise, I'm gonna do three sets. But um, that's because I want it. Oh, that's rough. I'd be curious to know what you guys actually listen to when you're at the gym. Because for me, unless it's leg day, I will listen to whatever I feel like. And that can range anywhere from drill rap, you know, pretty normal, a lot of people listen to that, all the way to country music. Not many people listen to country music while at the gym, except me. <coughs> so I'm different. But at the same time, some good old ghost main really does hype you up a lot more than Zach Ryan does, so. Use your music to your advantage, I guess. But yeah, what do you guys listen to? Comment down below. I would like to know if I'm the only one who listens to country music at the gym. Or even Billie Eilish, she slaps. <sighs> I've also been really loving Morgan Wallen at the moment. Brings 808 really nicely to country music. Um, but not gonna lie, Zach Bryan's always my, my go-to. I also just have a random Dave song in the middle of my country playlist. I don't know why. Something in the I also just want to make sure we're still recording. That guy kind of knocked the camera and I'm a bit curious now. Yeah, we're still good. Oh, I've got a nice ass patch on the seat. It wasn't me. Uh, fuck off. <laughs> Three sets of 10 will be fine. I'm now onto some shoulders. Juicy caps. Not those caps, you drug addict. Um, just some dumbbell shoulder press. Gym's starting to get busy now, so I don't know where to go. Help, I have social anxiety. Let's see, I'm a good boy. Putting your weights away. If I catch you not putting your weights away, I'll slap you across the ass so hard that you'll shit yourself. So put them away. How's that? 
Absolutely shit. No, 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 you're good. No, don't stress, don't stress. I think that's better. Oh, yeah, that'll do. Um, not gonna lie, I have 30s that I've got to lift above my head and I really can't be fucked, so... Um, I'm gonna smash these out. Starting to get tired. Pre-workout starting to wear off. I've been here for about an hour and a half now, so... Ugh. Ow, my sunburn. That hurts. Yeah, my whole back, rear delt, shoulder, path, the skin's folding together and it's pushing and it's really fucking hurting. Oh, why did I not use sunscreen? I'm a fucking idiot. Though, um, I'm to get some nice shape though. You know, all thank you to a nice tight top of mine. This is medium size in Humbled. Humbled.net, my merch, check it out. You should, it's good. You can look as big as me if you wear it. Trust, bro science. He is strong as fuck. Holy shit. Three page shoulder press, holy fuck. Eddie and I also have a weird problem. That, whenever we are at the gym together, we always spend an absurd amount of time talking. You, you have the one friend that you go to the gym with and you just sit there chatting your ass away to them. Look, it's fun, I love catching up. But at the same time, it does kind of... <laughs> postpones the workout a little bit. We've spent at least an hour on a single exercise before, and it wasn't a compound lift either. We just chatted shit a lot, which is fair. I love it. But um, I'm a little bit rested now, which I guess is a good thing. But uh, yeah, I mean, I managed to get 30 for 10, and as long as I don't get a cramp this time, like <laughs> I did then, then I should be able to get 11. And I might just up the intensity a little bit so I can push it out. And I might do three sets as well, because I have been lacking a bit on the shoulders. And two sets I just don't find is enough, especially when I only do two exercises and they're kind of mid, you know what I mean? So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll chuck in an extra set. Um, but you know what, that's enough rest. I feel pretty good, except my sunburn, that hurts. But we're no bitch. <sighs> Okay, I'll commit to what I said. I'll do an extra set. Not being lazy today, I traveled one hour to get to this gym for a video for a reason, so we won't bitch out now. But lateral raises are after this. And if you know anything about me and my exercising, I certainly love lateral raises. Why? Because they look sick as fuck. And remember, stay hydrated, kids. Fucking tired. Let's go two minutes rest. That's all I should need. Can we just talk about how crazy Anton Swole looks? Uh, sorry, I don't want to, what's his last name? Ratushni. Uh, but yeah, Anton Swole, as he is on Instagram, looks absolutely nuts, and he's younger than me. I've had a lot of people come up to me and say, Blake, you're doing really, really well for a 20-year-old. You're looking amazing. You're bit looking crazy and whatever. Personally, I just think I'm doing pretty well. I don't think it's anything fucking extraordinary. I just work hard. But it also is kind of hard on the head when you see someone a whole year younger than you get his pro card. Holy fuck. Now I've always looked up to Anthony Mantello mostly. I love Anthony Mantello. He's my idol and whatever. He's always what I wanted to inspire to be like. And yeah, he was going for, you know, the nice young pro card and shit like that. And then he just grew up a little bit and he's like, you know what? It's not realistic, you shouldn't try and achieve it. And then Anton came along and did it, which is absolutely nuts. Uh, but yeah, you know what? Hats off to him, he's done fucking crazy. I don't think many people understand how hard work he's put in. It's not just drugs, absolute freak of nature. On the Olympia stage, I reckon in another like five years. And there's my timer. Ugh, yeah, last one. Oh, 
that one was funny. You could see like the exact point where fatigue kicked in and just ate my ass like a cupcake, fully fucked. Usually it's like good, good, and then just slowly go down to those half reps. That was just good, nothing. But you know what, that's what fatigue is, it happens. Um, now we're on to some lateral raises. So I need to set up the camera for that. I'll probably keep it in the same spot, honestly. Ugh, done burn hurts. Uh, I think that's good, yeah, that'll do. Might do 17s, but at the same time, they're a little bit crappy reps. You know what, no, we'll do 17s. Progressive overload. Okay, let's hunt them down. Usually 17s feel, you know, kind of heavy. They feel like 17.5 kilos, that makes sense. Um, but after you just touch 30s, they feel really light, which is pretty cool. A little mental thing, but um, I know as soon as I start trying to lateral raise them, they're gonna feel heavy again, so. I'll enjoy it while it lasts. I'm um, going for maybe 15 to 20. I used to like, you know, be like everyone and just love to absolutely spam the fuck out of lateral raises. It's obviously not the best for you. Hold on, let me just catch my breath. So, um, not as of lately, but you know, you start to learn, you know, cable's better. Do it with cable if you can. I honestly just don't like it. My shoulders don't really like it. I don't know, it's also just more fun. Enjoyment is a massive part of working out. Yeah, just control it a little bit more. You don't have to fucking spam that shit like you're a chicken. Just, uh, yeah, just nice and controlled. I'm not trying to hold it at the top for five seconds or whatever, but like, just try and get a little bit more contraction, you know? It's maturing in the gym, you know? Is the bottom about to come off? No, let's not break it. Um, I'll give you a tip in my DMs. Now, I get a fair few DMs at this point. No flex, but um, I just do. Don't be weird, and also, don't act like I'm like some fucking god. A lot of people do, and like, I get it. But at the same time, I'm just a child. I'm just like you and I. If you've ever met me in person, you'll know I'm just some random introverted guy who doesn't really like to talk a lot unless there's a camera out. Or I'm running on free scoops of pre-workout and I'm with my friends. Yeah, if you pop in my DMs, first of all, be a woman. We love that, thanks. It's all guys at the moment. Uh, but secondly, don't be a weird cunt. Ah, oh, now that's a pain. Holy fuck. 